Today, we're taking the ferry from our cruise ship, Explorer of the Seas, to Coco Cay. Coco Cay is a private island leased by Royal Caribbean. The island is also known as Little Stirrup Cay when the first cruise line to use the island operated a private beach there. However, following the island's acquisition by Royal Caribbean, the island was renamed Coco Cay. Access to the island via ferries, or tenders as they call them, take the guests from the ship, which is anchored about a mile offshore, to a sheltered cove on the north side of the island. The water surrounding the island is remarkably clear, even in the most developed parts. There's a lot of thick white sand. However, one needs to be mindful that under all that sand, there's a lot of rough coral. Where the boat docks is the most developed part of this island. Directly ahead is the shops. Now this marker will help guide you to places like the Adventure Ocean Children's Facility, the dining areas, most of the bars, the sports facilities, and the popular beaches. By the way, there are no permanent residents on this island except for these guys. Items that can be rented on this island can include Hobie cats, paddle boats, wetsuits, kayaks, snorkeling equipment, and floating beach mats. In addition, there are many organized activities such as parasailing, scuba diving, and tours. We came here for the free barbecue lunch, and like all Royal Caribbean food, this was excellent. Coco Cay is a mile long, but only about 200 yards wide. After being on a cruise ship for eight days, we decided we wanted a little bit of privacy. So we worked our way back towards the back of the island and boy, we were not disappointed. One of the many lifeguards way out there. Boy, what a job. Here's a couple of stingrays just off the beach. It's amazing how big the cruise ship, Explorer of the Sea, looks from a mile away. It's time to bid farewell to Coco Cay and head back to our cruise ship.
thanks for watching. Now get out and explore.